quick comment about team photos. Team photos are going to be upstairs in the back of the players lounge. A little bit of detail, Canadian teams have assigned team photos in the first round of breaks. American teams have team photos in the second round of breaks. Tino said that y'all were too much for one round of breaks, so we, we split it up. Um, and let's give it up for Bill. We have more questions. Yes, okay, question about when does that walk start? So, no walk is going to start at the 12 minute mark or a couple seconds after play until the buzzer. And once the buzzer hits, we're going to pause play. We're just gathering for a group photo right now. The best of the best on the court. Invitation only. Qualifier. The thing in Seattle. Mitch Jansen behind the computer. Ben Johnson on the mic. Ten teams from the USA, eight from Canada, I believe. Jansen grabbing the mic. It's because you said my name, so I felt obligated. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mitch. This is going to be pretty exciting. It is. This mic I've got on my head, my goodness. This is fancy stuff. Yeah, I feel like a proper broadcaster right now. Yeah, that's true. As if I haven't before. Do you want to speak loudly while it's quiet? <laughs> Okay. I, I couldn't hear anything else other than <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> all yeah. I hear is myself and yeah. you. <laughs> this is perfect. We're moments away from the first game. It's going to be USA Team F Finesse going up against Canadian Team Rack Attack. Rack Attack out of Calgary, Alberta. Yes, but first of all, we have to get all the other, every single other team off the court to actually yeah. play a guy. Uh, is there going to be like uh, 160 people? getting off the court right now 160 is that 160 I can't count that quickly Simos <laughs> with the report of eight 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 per team oh 
that's a big number. Eight per team would be Eight time, 18 yeah. teams. Yep. Somebody whip out a calculator. Eight times eight, 64. So buck 64 it wouldn't, wouldn't be unreasonable. Are you actually grabbing a calculator? What are you doing? <laughs> he's, he's moving on. <laughs> and we, meanwhile, we're moving on from that comment. As the teams are ge getting off and getting ready, rack attack on the far end of the stream. Dodgeball Kyle B saying, Ben's number one fan here. How many Ben's are in this room right now? You know, actually, in my life, there's been a, a whole bunch of Ben's. But Ben as a name is underrepresented in Dodgeball, except in Winnipeg. There is too many Ben's. Yeah. Too many Ben's. Yeah. You could have a, a calendar just for Ben's. Oh, well, you're asking the wrong no, people no, here. No, we're not the people. Yeah. Isai would be your guy. Uh, well, there is the like the game, well, but that's interesting how we're positioned in a way where people think we're important. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you on? Are you playing right now? No, no. She's about to join. Oh. Yeah. The return of the goat. Emily Clark, hello. Hi, are we are we live? We're live. Oh, I was gonna sing Return of the Mac, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. Uh, yes, I'm so excited to be here. I didn't know if I was gonna have time to do commentary, but very excited that I get to help kick off the tournament with Ben and Mitch and everybody here in Seattle. Linwood. <laughs> <laughs> the the unofficial location being Linwood. Uh, do you want is that your preferred spot? No, I'm gonna come stand up there. Okay, I think. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Like our height difference alone will be a. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> I project Here. tall. So uh, you'll love this. I, uh, you must have seen it on the screen. But everyone watching is is getting a next level presentation. We've moved on from GoPro. Oh wow, that's a beautiful camera. So, yeah. Like, shots are gonna be crisp. We're on screen right now, just barely. So you know, shout out to folks back home. Finesse from USA. Uh, L.A., San Fran, Minnesota, Arizona. Absolutely some real impressive players on this team. Finesse, definitely one of the teams to watch in this tournament. And, um, and Rack Attack also. This should be a really good matchup. Yeah, yourself as a fellow Canadian to the Rack Attack players. Mm -hmm. Just so great to have these invite-only events ahead of Nationals. Yes. As, as you Absolutely. Prepare. Because as we go into Nationals in a, just three weeks, we're definitely going to see Rack Attack. I can't imagine a scenario in which we don't end up playing them at some point so well, I, I don't want to imagine that <laughs> no so it'll be great to uh, to get our our feet wet here and um, not that we haven't played rec tech before but this is next level competition everybody's really ramping up so hashtag next level hashtag absolutely so some of my teammates are on the court here for this rec tech finesse game um, acting as referees and so this tournament is entirely refereed by players. Um, I don't know if that's the case for the finals or the playoffs, but certainly in the round mm -hmm. robin. Um, so a uh, really great setup, and uh, it really helps to, to foster fair play and sportsmanship, sportswomanship, sportspersonship. <laughs> sportship. <laughs> fair play all around. Good vibes. Uh, one fun thing is uh, the clock system is all connected, so we actually can, uh, well, it's, nothing's going right now, but this is going to be the most accurate clock countdown I've ever seen. Amazing. And it sounds to me like they're they're running uh, on a whistle, sorry, uh, like a buzzer system, so mm. uh, the timing on the courts can't even get off from one another because everybody's going to finish at the same time and start at the same time, so that's great. Yeah, and uh, it's not quite a foghorn to warn us. Uh, so what it'll be is a 22-minute clock. At the 10-minute will be the half. Uh, and then we play out the sudden death and then restart at the, the second 10-minute. Absolutely. And in my years of playing competitive dodgeball, I've seen a lot of net setups. Um, some good, some bad, some that fell over right before we were about to use them. And these ones are beautiful. Oh, not only are these next level, you'll notice that court one has these, these high uh, nettings. This was... Uh, they set it up differently at first, but then realized that if someone just sent a rocket straight above, which is possible in, the, say, court two there, it'd, it'd be that wall ball that we don't like in the standard yes. official WDBF style. So they made sure court one gets the overall best experience. Uh, Mitch and I got to pick out the ball color. Beautiful, purple, yep. yep. 
Yeah, this is great. It looks like a really nice setup, and the, the teams here are in for a real treat. I can tell you uh, from warm up that the floors are very slippery. Okay. So we're going to see some really good sliding, certainly. Gee, um, the ball's a little bit too, eh? The ball's well, they're new. Yeah. yeah, so that, okay. that'll that that'll change throughout today, okay. although I don't anticipate that the slidiness of the floor will, no. will change at all. But uh, do, you, do you wipe your, your feet? Yeah, got to wipe that, my feet, yep. yeah. But also once you go in and you're sliding back or diving back, um, we could see some line outs potentially. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Those are the painful moments when someone's playing really well. It's just they haven't adapted to the court. It's, the momentum was stronger than we thought it might have been. So. so if you're just joining us this morning, um, it is 10 o'clock now here in uh, Seattle and for our friends in Vancouver and on the West Coast. Of us who are, are coming from Manitoba or Ontario, feels like I'm realizing I only ever want to move so wide awake. I was wide awake for hours before we had to leave. Just, just so Beautiful. ready to go. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! I wake up after the alarm. And yeah, that was that was not a fun first 30 minutes of my day. As it looks like teams are getting ready to go on your far end on the short court. Finesse. And there we go, the time is off and ready, so uh, our referees are going to be whistling the play start. Not technically on racket Oh, not a... Oh, and, oh, almost a false stop. Able to uh, get oh. it back under control. On your left wing, Paris Jodoin out of Quebec joining racket Attack. Really uh, strong showing. We have quite a few teams here that have picked up players for this tournament that don't usually make up their roster. Should we call them like cameos? Cameos. Like it is kind of fun, like a crossover <laughs> event. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Shot fired back and forth, burden to throw over to Finesse. You know, I'm surprised that we didn't see a little bit more action directly off the rush there. Um, Mac looking for a call and it's calling no hits. So the line, rack attack, pump fakes, Captain Bader protecting your team. Hard shot to taking out Farrell, confirmed. That hit there. Tapper with her refereeing on the line. These tournament, these tournament games have four refs for every game, which is beautiful. Um, when to high level competition, it is really important that you have a lot of refs paying attention because, of course, you don't want to ever take a hit that you don't think is a hit. Um, you want confirmation that you uh, are, in fact, doing what you should be doing. Oh, things are moving so fast that you just your, your brain's late to processing and you need to stay on court. Absolutely. It looks like there was being the catch that, that turned it around from Absolutely. five two. The catch followed by the hit. Let's see if they change up their strategy at all. If we have a pitch off the line here from either team. Yeah, Rack Sure attack. enough, and Mac hammers it. Great protection by Farrell. She's going up. There's no throw by Cher. That a makes one. perfect sense to me. Rack attack has a fast rush. Betty Mac is a, a quick and aggressive player, and uh, I'm not surprised at all that we saw a, a play off the rush there this time around. Sugden now in the middle. Sends it high and away. Watch out for Cook, Cook on that left wing. Passing the ball to her teammates. Sending two balls there and uh, were rack attack and they didn't make that shot. Um, but a really nice bait play from Finesse. McCaffrey's the target and she's out. Sugden protecting her teammates. Sugden also does a really good job of... Uh, tying her shoes? <laughs> tying her shoes, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of uh, sucking a ball in like mm. that and, and baiting that ball. Um, she's a great catcher as well. And not only that, a great throw and a bl great blocker. So all around strong player. And um, coming up high like that doesn't surprise me from, from her style of play. Burden to throw, rack attack. Solo throw protected by the player wearing Cook, but that's not. The player formerly known as Cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the player that is Cook is on the <laughs> left wing. Looking up for that rush counter. Solo throw, really well played. And wow. this, we find ourselves in the exact same scenario here, 5v2. Back and forth in transition, shares the victim. Big transition game there. Well played, a nice drop. 
um, on the throw. Just slowed down our Rack Tech player just enough to um, have a second to, to dodge that ball. And then she was a, a sitting duck there for that cross court shot. Two players, four balls. Third in the throw, finesse. But the, and in transition throws, yet again, it's racket. Head to the line. Going to be Mac though, keeping her eyes up, staying alive. Yeah, Mac did a good idea, a good right idea there. Looked up to see it, realized that the pressure was high from Finesse. And, and the Finesse players loving the chaos. Great counters. The crosses ending up with a point for Rack Attack. Absolutely. That was a uh, quick, quick change up there. Uh, Put that point on the board. 1-1. One, one. So we're coming up on 40 seconds to the, the first no bluff, and that'll indicate that's the line. And, um, where catch is still counting. So both teams still looking for a catch because there's no block. 